Hello, welcome to a new lesson. Now, we have the room and we have the lights. Now, it's time to create some particles. I want this room to be filled with fireflies or something that looks like fireflies and for that I'm going to use the particle wall. Now, you remember how to use it because we have used it a lot of times here on the course, but the thing is go to layer new and create a solid layer now let's call this layer fireflies take any color click OK let's take this layer above the creepy character OK now on the effects and presets panel Let's search for particle war. Double click on it. And now we have the particle war that you remember how it, it works. Now let's take this layer and drag it to the left so that from the beginning we have a lot of particles going on here. Okay. Now let's go to our custom view and make sure that the producer is on the center of the room you can see that it is if we go to the top view you can see it right on the middle of the room go again to our active camera then and let's start playing with the particles the idea is that to turn these particles into fireflies so they should be small circles with some effects, some fading effects. So first let's go to the producer and let's change the radius, the X radius, maybe just a little bit to two or maybe less, maybe one point two and the Y axis let's increase it just a little bit so that we have particles all around the, the room and the C axis of course so that we can fill the room the, the idea here is that the room is filled with particles so right now that's exactly what is what is happening so that's fine okay now you can close the producer now let's go to particle and on particle type you can see that right now we have lines now it's time to change this to uh, I'm uh, getting a little annoyed here with the grid so I'm going to turn off all the grids we don't need them okay now on the particle type let's set to faded sphere okay this can be nice fireflies so we have to do many things to it of course first let's change the colors of these particles right now they are yellow and red we need them to be green let's take a green color a pale green and for the death color we will get a darker green color just like this one click OK now so that looks better now perfect now I want them to have different sizes right now they are almost the same size so I want this depth size to be lower so that they when they are born they are big and then they are getting smaller just a little bit okay you can increase the size variation too to 75 now you can close now the particle now for the longevity right now is on one and they 
appear and disappear so we need to fix that but first let's play with the physics right now they are falling they are just falling they are coming out of the producer and falling to the ground so we need to fix that because I want these fireflies to be floating around the room so first on the animation right now it's on explosive let's set it to fire and the fire is something like this but what is happening now these particles are going up are floating per but up so this doesn't work and you can see that they are way too fast so I'm going to decrease the velocity to a lot maybe to 0 0.40 let's see how this looks alright now for the gravity I'm going to increase the resistance so they they don't go up immediately I'm going to increase their resistance let's see how 12 looks okay they are slower now but I need them to be even slower so I'm going to set this to 24 okay and now I'm going to increase the gravity too so that they have more weight alright we're getting there and I'm going to increase the resistance to the maximum which is 50 and I'm actually going to delete the gravity so now this is exactly what I wanted having the particles just floating around the room now as you can see we have too many particles and on top of that they are appearing and disappearing way too fast so we need to do two things first increase the longevity to at least five seconds but if I increase the longevity that means more particles so I'm going to decrease the birth rate to one in fact one is too much I'm going to have to set it to 0 0.2 percent let's see how this looks all right now we have one final problem and is that the fireflies looks very good but right now they are just floating into one space and that can be good but I want them to be like turning from one side to another just just a little movement so I'm going to decrease the resistance if I decrease the resistance to zero this will happen they are going crazy right now they are going to move way too much so I'm going to set the resistance just a little bit and test how it works this is better now you can see they are moving but just a little bit okay this is perfect now now we're done with the particles but let's take again our particles our fireflies layer and now instead of particle war I'm going to add a new effect I'm going to effect I'm going to 
stylize and select glow now let's get a little closer now on glow I'm going to increase the intensity and increase the radius the radius will be 15 now I want to use the A and B colors here on glow colors A and B and now for the color A I'm going to select a pale green and for the color B I'm going to select a green a little darker green now you can see that the particles gain a little more light so that's pretty fine so one final thing here on this lesson I have these fireflies and they are looking pretty good but I want these fireflies to give some kind of light reflection here on the floor because these fireflies they are green so I want a little reflection, just a little reflection here on the floor with the same tone as the particles so I'm going to set a new layer, a new light and this time the light will be again on point but the color I want to be green now click OK and now let's first let's position this on the floor I want one here and now I'm going to play with the position I will play with the C axis and place it here so you can see that now it's taking a little green color which is really nice and I'm going to call this I'm going to call these particles light now I'm going to animate the position so hit P and let's play with the, the position create a keyframe and add some position here and then go back to this point maybe on this third second drag it on the C axis let's see how it looks alright now I have a little light going in circles here and that looks good now I can duplicate this particle light and this one I'm going to take all these keyframes and I'm going to set it to the X axis so that it goes right here on this point so for this second light I'm going to decrease the intensity to 30 now that's it for the frog flesh now to finish this lesson I'm going to grab our keep creepy character and I'm going to affect color correction and I'm going for the levels I'm going to increase a little bit these levels the gamma so that our statue is brought to life a little bit just like uh, 1 and 20 maybe even a little a bit more so that it doesn't get too dark here now on the same creep character layer I'm going to open the settings I'm going for material options and on cast shadows make sure that it's on on so you can see how 
right now it's not giving any shadows and right now it is so let's see how it looks okay now we have some image some shadows and they are looking really cool gives a more creepy feeling to our 3d room if you want these shadows to be a little more diffused you can do so by increasing the diffuse here and now the shadows are a little smoother okay that's it for this lesson now it's time to play with our camera